Hello everyone, I'm FMZ and welcome to episode 21 of Resurgence with AC Milan. Today we've got six results to wrap up for you as we do a quick roundup of games. We've also got one new addition to introduce to you. Don't forget, if you enjoy this content, please leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, leave me a comment if you've got anything to say. Also, don't forget, I'm a member of the FM Creators community and the Passion for FM team. The link to the Discord servers is in the description. Let's get to those results, shall we? Before we move on to the results, let me introduce our new centre-half. Nicolas Sewell has joined us from Bayern Munich for a fee of £18 million. Very much a winner is this man. And that was my thinking behind it. We've got a player now who has won trophies with Bayern Munich. A trophy laden spell with Bayern Munich. And a not a half bad decent defender at that as well. Pace of 16, strength of 17, concentration of 18, heading of 16. Will be very much pivotal to the end of the season with AC. And there were some big deals that went down, most notably from Italy's perspective. Amatroiore has made the move to Inter Milan. Hopefully that one's not going to come back and bite me in the arse. I should have gone for him, really. Stephen Bergwijn has gone to Barcelona for a fee of just shy of £50 million. And Thiago Dantis has joined Bayern Munich for £54 million. Inter made one signing in the transfer window. They were the biggest spenders as we spent £210 million overall. Now let's move on to the results, shall we? And we start with the match that followed the Super Coppa final with Inter, and it was a one-all draw with Lazio. Let's take a look at the goals. Dusan Falovic opened the scoring on 11 minutes. Lanes with the ball on the right-hand side, running through the middle, playing it nicely down the line for Falovic, who shot across the angle to give us the lead in this one. But Lazio denied us on 87th minute. Bias down the right-hand side, Playing the ball into Robertone, knocking it back for Dominguez, who was well out of position as Lazio claimed a point. We followed that up with a comfortable 3-0 win away at Lecce. Let's take a look at the goals. Beltran opened the scoring on 21 minutes. Lanes with the ball down the left-hand side this time, playing it in towards the middle. There is Beltran out of his feet before firing it nicely into the net for 1-0. We doubled the lead a minute later through Tolisso. Tierney with the ball in the centre of the park. Knocking it forward to Tolisso. He will unleash one from distance as well for 2-0. And we wrapped it up just before half-time. Balotti with a penalty to give us a 3-0 win over Lecce. We followed that up with a disappointing defeat in the TIM Cup quarter-final against Inter. Let's take a look at the goals. Bakilo opened the scoring for Inter on 33 minutes with a ball on the right-hand side from Pereira. Playing it back to Correa. There is Bakilo heading in at the far post for 1-0 and they made it 2-0 just before half time Carrera down that right hand side again getting beyond the defender getting beyond Kieran Tierney as well before playing it into Salcedo who made it 2-0 which gave us very much an uphill task in the second half we did pull a goal back in the 86th minute Hyunmin Sun with the ball on the left playing it towards the far post Maldini heads it down Valovic taps it in sadly we did not find a second one as we were eliminated from the TIM Cup. We did have another late goal in the game with Sampdoria, this time a winning goal. Let's take a look at the goals. Falovic with the opening goal, Calabira with the throw in to Tolisso. He will play in towards the penalty area. There is Valovic nodding in for 1 0. A penalty for the equaliser, though. Ogredo with the equalising goal for Sampdoria. But Hume Min Sun won the game on 88 minutes. There he is on the left-hand side. Kieran Tierney playing the ball into the box. Defender tackles Valovic. It falls nicely for Sonny as he puts it into the net to give us a valuable win over Sampdoria. Only the one goal at the Jewish Stadium as I returned to Atalanta. And what a moment for Daniel Maldini. Let's take a look at his goal. Son of club legend Paolo Maldini. Valovic with the ball down the left-hand side. He will cross it towards the far post. There is Maldini taking a touch. Lovely shot into the corner to break the deadlock and give us a win over Atalanta. And last time out, it was a comfortable 3-0 win at home to Spal. Let's take a look at the goals. Nicolas Pepe opened the scoring on 35 minutes back from the African Cup of Nations and just in time as well, having a good little run into the box before unleashing one for 1-0. 
and then it took a while to get the second goal but it came in the 83rd minute Calabira with the ball on the right hand side crossing it into the middle there is Dusan Valovic nodding in for 2-0 and we completed the scoring on 85 minutes Benature with the cross from the free kick in to the net it goes from Roma goalie as we won by three goals to nil to the top of Serie A which is where we sit right now a point ahead of our city rivals Inter who are six points in front of Juventus Roma have 48 Napoli have 46 Frosino have sadly dropped a little bit onto 43 level on points with Lazio Atalanta have played themselves into contention with 42 Sampdoria have 39 Benevento have 39 as well down at the bottom where it's going to be me saying it once more. Poor old Pressure. Six points. 14 from safety. I think it's fair to say Pressure will be going back to Serie B next season. Perugia have 14. Bologna have 19. Spal have 20. Then there's a gap to Calgary and Sassuolo on 25. Lecce and Parma have 27. Udinese have 31. Fiorentina have 33. So that is Serie A. Next time around, we will move on to the Europa League. It is Celta Vigo at the San Zero. That is what you will see next time around. But a good little round up there. Other than losing in the TIM Cup to Inter, that one will hurt for a little while, I suspect. And we didn't meet the board objective either, so they're not particularly happy about that. But they are going to be delighted with what's happening in Serie A at the moment. Top of the table, a point clear with 13 to play. It's looking good. But there is an awful long way to go. We are back, as I mentioned, next time around for European action. Celta Vigo up in the Europa League. And we have a chance of winning that, as I've mentioned before. But we need to get past Celta first of all. If you've enjoyed today's video, please leave a like. If you haven't subscribed to the channel but would like to do so, please hit the subscribe button down the corner. Don't forget, if you've got any comments to make on today's video, please leave them below. Also, don't forget my member of the FM Creators community and the Passion for FM team. The link to the Discord servers is in the description. That was episode 21 of Resurgence with AC Milan. I will see you next time for Europa League action. Until then, thanks for watching. Goodbye.